so now since we have completed speed, distance, velocity, you know, acceleration. Now before uh, moving forward, there are few topics of mathematics uh, without which we cannot, uh, you know, move further. And they are differentiation, integration, and logarithm. So we will cover all these topics in uh, different lectures. Differentiation is a topic which will continue for you know a full year, but a basic of differentiation you will learn from this lecture and also how to solve simple questions of differentiation. So moving forward, we'll discuss what is the meaning of differentiation and how to solve questions. Okay. So what is differentiation? So if value of a quantity depends on value of another quantity, then changing value of letter will affect the value of former. So differentiation is a technique to find this change. So what does this mean? What does this statement mean? So suppose that y is equal to x square. So if you can see then value of y depends on x since y is equal to x square. So understanding it like this that at x equal to 1 value of y will be 1 and at x equal to 2 value of y will be 4 because y is square of x. At x equal to 3 value of y will be 9 and at x equal to 4 value of y will be 16 because putting value of x to be 4, 4 square of 4 is 16. So if you will see that if I am changing value of x then it is changing value of y. So differentiation is a technique which will tell us that if I change value of x then how much will be the change in the value of y. So value of y depends on value of x and suppose that I change value of x by del x then there will be change in del y also. So differentiation is a technique to find out if I change value of x by del x then how much will the value of y will change. So moving forward you have to remember this that del x is basically change in x and del y is basically change in y. So this del y and del x will represent change and if the change is very small then even we will write del x to be dx and del y to be dy. Remember this thing. Okay. So now we will understand this simple concept with the help of graph also. Suppose this is a xy graph. So basically suppose on y axis there is you know y and on x axis we have x. And at some point suppose there is a coordinate at some point x comma y. Suppose I change the value of x by dx dx is very small change in x. Suppose I change the value of x by dx then there will be a change of dy in y. So if you zoom out this thing suppose value of x changes by dx then there is a change of dy in value of y. So the base is dx and the perpendicular is dy. So for this right angle triangle tan theta is perpendicular by base. So tan theta will be dy by dx and tan theta is what tan theta is slope of curve. So tan theta is basically dy by dx. So this is known as differentiation of y with respect to x. So what is the meaning of dy by dx? So always remember that dy upon dx means that differentiation, differentiation of y with respect, with respect to x. So dy by dx will mean differentiation of y with respect to x. So the quantity with which you are differentiating will come in denominator and the quantity which you are differentiating will come in numerator. So dy by dx is basically differentiation of y with respect to x and differentiation is also called a slope of curve. Okay, now we'll understand how to find out dy by dx. I'll not go into the derivation part. I'll just tell you how to solve the questions. Okay. So suppose y is equal to x raised to power n, then dy by dx will be equal to n x n minus 1. So power will come forward and in the power part you have to subtract 1 from the power. So uh, let us understand it as an example. Suppose y is equal to x cube. So dy by dx will be equal to the power 3 will come forward. So 3 will come forward and we will subtract 1 from the power that is 3 minus 1 that is 2. So the simple formula is y is equal to x raised to power n then dy by dx will be equal to n x n minus 1. So on the base on the place of y there can be x also on the place of x there can be t also. So y and x are just quantities you can just put anything at, on the place of y 
anything on the place of x. So uh, with another example, suppose y is equal to 1 by x. So we can write y is equal to x inverse because x will come in power, then it will be minus 1. Now dy by dx will be minus 1 will come forward and in the power part, you will to, you have to subtract minus 1. So minus 1 minus 1, so it will become x raised to power minus 2. So we can write dy by dx should be equal to minus 1 upon x square. With one more example, suppose y is a constant. Always remember that differentiating a constant will give 0 because y is a constant. So y is a constant, it means there is no change in value of y because y is a constant. So dy is what? dy is change in y. But y is not changing now, y is a constant. So dy by dx will be equal to 0. Always remember, differentiating a constant will give you a 0. One more example. Suppose y equal to x raised to power 100. So dy by dx, 100 will come forward. And in the power, we have to subtract 1. So 99. So answer will be 100x raised to power 99. So this is a simple way you know, to differentiate uh, you know, uh, our equations of x and y. We are taking some more examples now. Suppose y is equal to x raised to power 1. So dy by dx will be the 1 will come forward. So 1 is in forward. x raised to power 1 minus 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So answer will be 1 into 1 minus 1 is 0. So x raised to power 0 is 1. So answer is 1. So differentiating only x with rest, differentiating only x will give you 1. So if y is equal to x, then dy by dx will be equal to 1. Now coming to another example, suppose y is equal to 2x square. Now, suppose if y is only 2, suppose y is only equal to 2, then dy by dx will be equal to 0. But now y is 2 into x square. So this 2, you don't have to, you don't have to change it. So 2 will come as like this. So 2 will be 2. And differentiation of x square is 2x because 2 will come to forward and subtracting 1 from the power, it will give only x. So answer will be 4x. Suppose y is 3x cubed plus 6x. So dy by dx will be equal to 3 will come as like this. Differentiation of x cube is 3x square plus 6 will come like that. And differentiation of x is 1. So answer will be 9x square plus 6. So this is how you have to differentiate when there is addition of two functions. This is how you have to differentiate when there is a constant multiplying with the function. Suppose now this question that y is equal to x to power 4 plus 5x cube plus 1 by x square plus 4 plus 6x. Now, how you have to differentiate this? So we will differentiate every singular quantity, every singular function, and then add all the functions. So for x cube, the power will come forward. So 4 is in forward and subtracting 1 from the power will get x cube. So for x fresh to power 4, the differential is 4x cube plus 5 will come like that. For x cube, the power will come forward. So 3 is in forward and subtracting 1 from the power, so x square. For 1 upon x square, if x square will go, you know, 1 upon x square can be written as x raised to power minus 2. So minus 2 will come forward and we will subtract 1 from the power. So it will become x raised to power minus 3. So 1 upon x cube. So if 4 is alone and only 4 is a constant, so differentiation of 4 is 0. And for 6x, we'll put 6 like that and differentiation of x is 1. So 6 into 1. So this is how you have to differentiate simple functions of x, y, z, and t. Now you have to submit a quiz because differentiation is the most important topic, most, most, most important topic for next two years for your board, for JE, for NEET, or any competitive exam that you have to fight in your you know, coming life. This topic is very, very important. And this is the basic. This slide is the, this lecture is the basic lecture. Okay. So if you have any doubt, you can WhatsApp me. And now you have to submit an online quiz that is there with this message. And also in the description below of this YouTube video, you will find an online quiz. Okay. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can WhatsApp me. Okay. Thanks a lot.